Hey everyone, I'm Cheryl Kim. Welcome to Thread of Silence. It's a new indie horror game that was released on itch.io. No, I don't know anything about it. Another deal. At the start of the game, I got a disclaimer that this is made by disabled people. So, yeah, we're gonna keep that in mind. And let's dive into the game. Yeah. Thank you so much for all of you who subscribed. You are the best eggs in the basket. Oh, someone's trying to make mangas. Is this a manga or is this like Thanos? Empty medicine case. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to look at other things. Okay, so this shows me the empty medicine case. It's fine. Cool. So yeah, how is everybody doing? I didn't post yesterday because I didn't find a game that's worth posting. A Ouija board! Fuck yeah. Can I summon something? No? Oh, okay. August 26, 2018. The last few days have been great. Yesterday I was so happy. I felt like I vibrated into another realm of existence. I felt like a completely different person. I've been listening to the same love song over and over. No, Dude. September 8th. The more and more I sit on it, the more confused I feel about the Rebecca situation. I have a whole lot of thoughts and arguments about it in my head. None of it makes much sense. Rebecca told me she didn't have feelings for me today. But I thought she did. Okay. September 11th. So this week sucked. For so many reasons. Uh, maybe demanded my therapist's number. And she told my... Oh, God damn it, I'm yawning. I'm very tired. She told my psychiatrist to call me too. I explained to Maeve over and over and over again that I'm actually doing fine. Yes, I'm sad about Rebecca, and normal person, a normal person would be sad. However, I'm nothing more than that. She told me I was in deep despair and that she needed to fix it. Oh, those had pages? God damn it. I miss. I missed some entries. Okay, let's go back to September 8th. Sorry. Has she always felt this way? Did I imagine the romantic feeling we had? I can't be insane. Insane people don't know they're crazy. But maybe I made up that Rebecca loved me, though. Maybe I am that desperate. Regardless, I can sit here and keep obsessing about this. I can sit here and obsess over what went wrong with Rebecca. I tried and I think it's time for me to just move on. Okay. So let's continue with this one. Uh, what? Why? I played Spider-Man all day and ate leftovers of lasagna. As far as... Uh, I mean, this is, this is a great life. Spider-Man, lasagna, cool. As far as I know, okay. I'm recovering just fine. Maybe you would have listened to me. She was like, No, Claire, this isn't normal despair. This is extreme despair. What the fuck is she talking about? When the actual fuck? Like, leave me alone, man. Let me just play Spider Man in peace. I don't want my doctors calling me. I'm. Uh. What? Seeing Harry Campbell. In a week or so, I got it handled. I don't need maybe going vigilante on my ass. Okay. This is a very cool room. I like this room already. This room is cool. Like the mangas. Uh, what is this? I didn't see this. Uh, can I go there? No. This more mangas. So we, we have a fan of anime and manga and Ouija boards and horror dreamcatcher I like this room ah I'll be with you in a second oh oh this is me I'm cute yeah I think I'm cute real time reflection in the game even when I turn my head nice 
Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Good aim, Zai. Can I can I flush the toilet? No, what a wasted opportunity. Uh, what is this? Oh, I can take a shower. Okay, cool. Was there a reason for me to take a shower? Probably not, but I click on things. So. Here's my phone, Rebecca. I'm sorry about what I said. Please leave me alone. Uh, we're not gonna respond. It's fine. Maybe. No, I don't want to see the movie with you. Why are you so mean to me? Ah, oh, sorry, I, I mixed them. Uh, I'm gonna respond. Cause you ruined my life. Uh, I don't think she ruined my life, but sure. Uh, mom, okay. Can you call Terzon tomorrow and cancel your subscription? My cat is really okay. Yeah, that's, that's enough. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, eight. Sorry. Okay, let's see. Tag greens, clear our extras, prescription ready for pickup. Okay, cool. Sarah and Michael. Are we going to hang out this Thursday? Down straight. Let's go to Vigilantes. Sure. And what's with Rebecca though? She wants you to leave her alone. Let's just respond. Sorry. Yeah, you don't have to be so mean about it. I had feelings for you. You don't have to be that of an ass. There's so many ways to reject someone that will not make them feel so bad. Don't be an asshole. If you're not interested in someone, be nice. Remember that they're also people, so don't be a fucking asshole. Up, up, up. Let's see what's inside the fridge. We have meat. Jeez! Uh, tomato, ketchup. I hate ketchup. It's fine. Uh, can I eat anything? No, I can just open and close it. It's fine. Okay. Hmm. What else can we do? Okay, let's talk to this person that's been standing here forever now. You don't look that different from me, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Are you the other me? Hi. Can I talk to you? Oh, Morgan. Good morning, Claire. Why don't you go to work? I know you don't want to go. But I'll help you once you're there. How? I'm going to work. You're staying here. Are you coming with me? Am I understanding this correct? Well, I hope not. Are you sure you want to go to work? Uh, no, not yet. Hang on. Okay, yes, I'm sure. Yep. Totally sure. I'm fine. Okay, I'm having auditory hallucinations. That's not good. You sitting still? Shut the hell up, the shadow man. Hello. Hello. I see you walking up for another day. Excellent. Just in time. Yeah, for what? For the end of the world, of course. Oh no, I clicked on him again and he just kind of said the same thing. Okay. Cool, 
cool, cool, cool, cool, cool, Shadow Man. I don't believe you for a second. I think you're in my head. God damn it, I pressed on him again. Fucking hell, Shadow Man. Let's see our phone. Rebecca. Uh, we already responded to all of those. So I think nothing new in this game. Hello, Claire. How's work? I guess it was okay. I don't know. You tell me. Okay, a bunch of CDs. Let's go away from the damn man that's going like whoosh, 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 whoosh. It's very annoying. Let's take a shower. A shower always clears my mind. That's what happens in movies. In real life, I have to make time to take a shower. Which is sometimes very stressful. Uh, do I have any new entries? No. Okay. Uh, let's go to bed. We had a long day. Yeah. You sure I want to sleep? Mm. Another day, another opportunity for me to try my best, I guess. October 13th. Uh, work really sucked today. All my coworkers are complete assholes. And I don't know what to do. They think I'm bad at my job, but I'm trying my hardest. Even started to task this so I can keep track of everything okay I think my cat is attacking my fiance it probably is but she's hiding behind me while I'm playing the game so yeah uh, yeah medicine case so what kind of illness do I have I don't really know I really don't know. So far I'm having hallucinations and that's bad. That's something you should check with the professional with because those things can be really hard to deal with. Uh, okay. Any new messages? No. Rebecca didn't message me anymore. Ruined my life. Um, whatever that is, sure. Okay. So, sorry, I had to let get out. And what are we doing now? Do I just go to work? I guess. Okay. Where's Morgan? Uh, Morgan, mother. Ooh. That was scary. My PS3 is there. Got a new message? Is it okay if I come over tomorrow night? Uh, you said that I should leave you alone, but sure. I can't respond. Why well, can't respond? Okay. Uh, sure, I guess. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm still wearing the same hoodie. I don't have new entries in my diary. God damn, my room is so cool. I like my room. I'm gonna take a shower and head to bed. Yeah. Fuck work. Work sucks. That's why I'm very exhausted now because I came from work and God damn it, I wish I don't have a job. <laughs> uh. 
Uh, okay, let's go to sleep. Another day, another banger. Right? That's what the shit YouTubers say nowadays. I wrote in my diary. I've been speaking with Rebecca and she says she wants to visit tonight. I hope this means we'll finally be together. Mm. Mm. I don't know what to say about that. That's... Mm. I don't know. If I ask someone out and they say flat out no, and like stop talking to me, stop bothering me. After a couple of days, they tell me like, "Oh, I'm visiting you," or "Do you want to meet up?" I'm gonna be like, "Mm mm, you're suspicious as fuck. You're coming to me as a rebound, so fuck off." But I don't know. I'm not. I'm not Jesus, so I don't know anything about anything. Just me. Just me and my social anxiety. Uh, hi, Morgan. How are you doing? I don't think the shadow man should stop the void. Yeah, me neither, to be honest. Eh, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> we had, what, a couple thousand years on Earth? Eh. Once the void comes, we will be enveloped in darkness. Everyone pure will go to heaven. Ah! <laughs> I'm not gonna talk religion with you, but whatever you say, Morgan. Everyone evil will go to hell. I wish it was that simple. It's a shame what's going to happen to your sister, though. I have a sister. Is she going to hell? Maybe, I don't know. Sure, let's go to work. Maybe you're a sinner, maybe you deserve to die They were crying when they... Uh, okay Nothing new, huh? Oh, Rebecca's here Hi, Becky Where are you? Hi Hey, Claire, I was wondering if we could talk Rebecca, what are you doing here? I thought about what you said, and I accept your apology. Oh my fucking god, get off your fucking high heels. Get the fuck out of my apartment. Oh really? Yeah, I think I may have overreacted. Oh, you think so? I just wanted to say, I love you too. I don't buy it for a second. I'm glad. I'm not. I don't buy it for a goddamn second. Now leave my house. Forever. Please. Hmm. So the world is coming to an end. That's okay. We'll figure it out. What do you mean? <laughs> we? Yeah. You're too invested all of a sudden. Yeah. Morgan, Lucifer, Raziel, and me, we're all going to help you. Oh my god, you're in my head as well. Okay, this is tough. Mm. You guys are all here. That's for damn sure. Um, empty medicine case. Uh, I don't know how to feel about this. Hey, Becky. You want to say something? No. The game is framey, but I don't mind. To ensure your safety, we decided to install cameras in your room. Don't worry, the only people who will see the footage is heaven and hell. What? You're too religious for my taste. Get the hell out of here. I gotta see. Morgan came to visit me yesterday morning and warned that something was going to happen to my sister, Maeve. She didn't tell me what though. Will she be a victim to the void? A victim to the void. Okay, that's a typo. It's fine. Uh, I don't know. Do 
Achei. Olha o cu. How long do you think the game is gonna keep doing this to me? Uh, new text? I don't know why. Uh, okay. Hi. Who the fuck are you? You don't even have a body. Are you the void? Or are you a glitch? I don't know. Let's go to work. Yeah, you can stay here. You can chill out with Morgan and Rebecca. It's fine. Oh! Uh, I'm gonna go back to work again another shift. Thank you very much. No, I can't. Hi. Hey, Claire. How are you? I'm fine. I was better without you. <laughs> Uh, okay, it's something that I can poke, but I don't seem to want to poke it. I didn't hear my phone ring, so it's probably nothing. Okay, I still look cute, so let's take a shower. Maybe that will clear our heads. No! No, it didn't. Where's Morgan? Where is Morgan? Okay, his pimples are everywhere, so I'm just gonna go to sleep. Oh my god, now they're bigger even. Pimples are everywhere. I don't have anything in my diary, sadly. Uh, let's, let's keep doing the same routine. routine. How I would like to take a shower every day. I don't do it in real life. Every couple days. I know I'm dirty as fuck. It's fine. I accept the fact that I'm dirty, okay? I accept the fact. May. Sure, so uh, do I just leave to work, I guess? Bye! Bye, Rebecca! Fun! At home alone! Fucking hell, why are you still sitting here? Yes! You what? The door is open, by the way. Come in! Can you stop knocking? Don't answer the door. I think someone is trying to break in. Go to the computer. I think we can stop them there. Uh, yeah, just open the door. Yeah. Sure. I guess I go to the computer. First of all, I'm gonna take a shower. I don't care if someone breaks in or not. It helps me clear my head. They are still knocking after like, what, half an hour I took a shower? Uh, I mean, I can't interact with the computer. Can I? Oh, I think I, I could. Who the fuck are you? Steve is here. Or was. Uh, dude is here. He doesn't want to talk to me, I guess. Good night. Things are making less sense. I swear to God. I think taking a shower is pointless. Is there different endings to this game? If not, I'm just gonna stop doing that. Hey, Morgan. It looks like the precautions we are taking to protect you aren't working. Book a hotel. We're leaving for the night. Oh. Oh, I think I see what's going on. 
everything and see what's going on. I'll talk about it in, at the end of the game. Good, you're here. Your sister Meg needs our help. Does she? I don't think she exists. Sure. Yeah, hi guys. Hey everyone. The demon Kane wants to possess me. Okay. Use your powers to stop the possession. Take the computer out of your bag. Use it to contact Maeve. Okay. Sure. Oh my god, my back really hurts. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, hi. Oh my god, Maeve, it's me, Claire. No answer. You're going to be possessed. We have to stop it. No answer. Can you hear me, Maeve? It's not working. Use your phone. Hello? Maeve, it's me, Claire. Look, you need to listen to me. You're being possessed by the demon Cain. What? Don't worry, Maeve. Just come over here. I'm at a hotel. Um, this hotel is protected. No one will hurt us here. Yeah, sure. I'll come over there. Can you give me your room number? Yeah, sure. Okay, now we have a full-on party here, huh? It's been a while. Claire, maybe we should drive over to our apartment. Quickly, grab your things and let's go. Okay, sure. Hello? This is the police. Could you open the door? We have a few questions. Sure, what do you want? Ah, uh, this this was a demo for the game. God damn it! Uh, what? That's why I don't. When I don't read descriptions of games, I end up doing this. God damn it! Hmm. Okay, so there I have a Kickstarter. Cool. All right. Uh, let me relaunch the game and then we talk about it. How about this? All right. So threat of silence. Um. Let me say the things that I don't like about it and the things that I liked about it and Maybe you can talk a little bit about the story uh, One thing I didn't like is the The hovering over things Like when I interact with things I have to Hover over them, right? So I can click on them um, Sometimes I think it's better for games to make it more specific points to click on and not just the direction of the thing. So I was like looking at the phone for example and I was trying to interact with other things but I couldn't and I would only interact with the phone because whenever I'm looking at that direction and press anything I'm gonna interact with it. So that was a little bit out of touch in my opinion. I don't know, like, apart from that, I didn't see much from the game, so I cannot say that I didn't like certain things. But, yeah, let's let's talk about what I liked about the game. First of all, I liked the whole atmosphere of the game, I liked the characters. I think they made their own models, so that was very impressive. That was great. Because I always like when games make their own models and not just use assets. It's fine to use assets, but... Yeah, when you make your own models... I mean, I don't have no idea about making video games and designing and shit. And programming. I assume it's a lot of work to make your own models. But when you do that, it's always worth the while. It gives a unique... Uh, a unique aspect to your game. Even if it's an 
in the horror game. So yeah, and let's talk about the story. I didn't read the description yet of the game on the HGO page. I will after I finish recording for sure. But I think we're I think we're suffering from some mental illness. I don't know like uh, do we have multiple personalities or do we have or are we like schizophrenic? Schizophrenic, I don't know how you pronounce that but yeah. I I feel like we're one of the two because all these people that we're interacting with they're all in our head. The the the, the man in the T V, the dude that was trying to get inside, who got inside, Morgan, uh Rebecca Who else? I think even the sister, Maeve, I think even she, or maybe she's not, maybe she is a real person. But yeah, and because I think we're, we have different personalities or we're just schizophrenics, we're like having these conversations in our heads, and we get ourselves terrified because that man is saying that it's gonna be the end of the world. And one side of us is like uh, into religious things like heaven and hell. One side is I don't know, searching for love or something like this. We're having auditory hallucinations. We're having visual hallucinations. Uh, we have an empty pill uh, package. So that means we're not taking our medication anymore. Maybe that's what's making it getting worse. Yeah, I think this is what the story is about so far. Like as much as I understood. And with that being said, uh, I just want to point out if you're having any mental issues, just take them seriously. And uh, please proceed and seek the help from a professional because these things sometimes are much worse than physical injuries because physical injuries you can see it you can treat it and you can diagnose it pretty much easier than mental illnesses because those ones are just inside the head itself and as much as our technology is advanced we still don't know shit about a lot of things uh, mental illnesses we're not really that uh, we're not really that advanced in treating them. I mean, of course, professional help always uh, helps you trying to solve the issue most of the time and hopefully solve it by the end of the treatment. But in a lot of cases, it just uh, prevents the side effects of your mental issue and don't really solve it. Because, yeah, like I said, we're not that advanced that we can solve the thoughts process and all that things because a lot of mental illnesses come from the thought process. I think, I don't know, I'm just an idiot who plays video games and publish them on YouTube, so don't take my words for granted. But yeah, like I was saying, don't feel ashamed for seeking help if you are having any mental issues. And yeah. I don't know what else to say. I just hope that you all stay safe and take care of yourselves. And don't think that you're alone. Mental mental health is a huge problem for almost everyone. Everyone that you ever know, even if you see them happy, sad, famous, rich, poor, we all have some kind of uh, insecurity or mental issue or yeah so everyone has it don't feel ashamed to admit that you have one and seek help for it that's what i'm trying to get at but for some reason because i'm tired my brain is not functioning yeah and with that being said just like rebecca tells you and uh claire tells you and i forgot the name of the third person <laughs> and morgan sorry and morgan tells you to shoot for the stars Bye, and I'll see you all in the next video.